Hello everyone, welcome back to this Siemens Cinemix S210 server drive and motion control series video. And in this video, I will introduce how can we use the web page, the built-in web page from this server controller to tune this server drive performance. Okay, let's go there. And in the previous video, I introduced how can we set the password for this administrator user. And once you log in, and you will see this is the main page. And then we can use the control panel. Default, the safety is disabled. Okay, it's disabled. So this allows us to spin the motor via this control panel. So we enable this control panel and we can take over this control and we can forward or backward this is solar motor and once the solar motor connect with the mechanical system some cases we need to tune the speed loop or the current loop so that tuning the parameters for the speed loop or current loop is a little bit high end so most of cases we lack like the system can automatically learn something to do the typical setting for the server drive itself. Then we can use this feature from this web page, go to the commissioning, then let's go to this tuning. So from this button here, we will see it has three selections, conservative, standard, and the dynamic. And from this machine property, so we will see we can also active this additional increase of the dynamics. And in most of cases, if your server drive move very slow or need a very accurate positioning. So you can select the standard or the conservative. If your system need to be very fast, especially for the fast speed control, then you can select the standard or dynamic. Okay, so we can firstly go to the conservative and then click this start tuning. In the meantime, we can watch the video and see how the system adjusts this speed. Well, while using this auto tuning, you need to be very carefully. That's because once we start this auto sequence, the auto sequence will run the server drive by its own. It will run the server drive very fast in a short moment. You need to be very carefully about your mechanical system. Also, you better prepare safety. You need to monitor if the drive has something wrong. But to better tune the motor, we definitely like to connect the mechanical connect the load to the server drive to the motor so we can tune the better parameters also you will see after we click this auto tuning there will be one option to let us set the distance the drive will travel so you can set as long as you can but meantime you need to be very carefully about the travel distance in your system the longer the better because the longer the calculation could be better identify the motor and your load to calculate a set of proper parameters. So we need to move the motor as more as it can. Okay, so let's firstly select this conservative and let's click this tuning and let's hear what it's doing. Okay, let's go click. Here we will see it asking us, so how many rotation you want to go here i like to set two revolutions that's the 720 and we can see how many revolutions so this red motor will spin okay let's go this tuning finish very quick and it definitely run just within two revolutions back and forth, right? And in the meantime, we will see, because we select this conservative, that's why we will see this current game, P game, this is 0 0.02. And uh, this speed integral, that's a 3.8 here. Okay, we can write down this parameter and also we can select the dynamic and see the parameter, the difference between them. Okay, I can write down this parameter temporary 0 0.02 for 7 and the integral that's a 
Okay. Okay, now let's click this dynamic. We can close this control panel also. Let's click this tuning. So this time we can make the system run longer. For example, 10 revolutions, that's the 36 hundreds. Okay, let's go click. Okay, it complete. Then let's compare the difference. So this is a conservative and this is a dynamic. So definitely this dynamic P gain will be a bigger than this conservative P gain. And also we'll see the integral time. Integral time does not have too much difference, but this P gain we'll see is bigger than this. Also keep in mind, the system actually also measuring the inertia internally. It's just now showing here. And the disk we can see here, this is very light. The load is very light. That's why this two side of a P gain does not show significant difference. But once in the real case, you are connecting the real load. After the click the tuning, we will see selecting the dynamic and the conservative, the P gain will show significant difference. Okay. And then we can also select this and let's see what's going on. So I can also write this copy. All right, now let's click this tuning. So same thing and click OK. All right, let's compare. Okay, so the P game does not increase too much. That's because again, this load is too light. So it's not showing too much difference, but you need to carefully reading this word. Basically, this free of backslash and also the inertia from your load, okay? And also, if you think this value is not quite workable, then you can also go to the parameter, parameter list and then we can manually change the P gain and the integral time. So for example, we can select the speed control. Okay. And we will see the maximum speed, the speed controller P gain and uh, this integral time and also this load moment of inertia value. Okay. So you can manually change those parameters. So based on the tuning parameter, you can firstly gain some experience from this P gain and the integral. And then according to your real performance, you can based on the learned parameter and do the further fine tuning. And this is speed gain. While the solar motor is doing the positioning control, the positioning gain will be set from the controller. That positioning gain will be transferred via the control word. So you do not need to worry about this P gain parameter. After the auto tuned, that is uh, the speed controller P gain and the integral. Okay, and after this setting, don't forget click this save change. And then we can turn on this motor again. And uh, I can see when it's stop it start very fast and very sharp. And in a real case, especially you have a, a bigger moment of inertia from your load, you will see the difference after this tuning. All right, then let's go back to the tuning again. So as we can see here, this one button tuning is very easy. It literally just one button and a couple minutes, you can finish all the drives in your system for the fine tuning via the web page, okay? This is the one button tuning from this server drive, Cinemics S210. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.